How's it going? In this video, we are going to go over how to install Windows 10 Enterprise in VirtualBox. We'll discuss how to download it from the Microsoft Eval Center, which will give us a 90-day evaluation copy, how to set it up and install it in VirtualBox. And also, this will be a series of videos. This, this particular one will be a part of a series. Uh, the next video will be how to set up Windows Server 2016. And then if the following video will be how to promote that to a domain controller. And the next one will be how to add the system we're setting up now to that domain. And then finally, we'll have one on how to do a penetration test against uh, that domain, the domain we just set up using Kali Linux. Uh, and there's, there's, I'll put the links to all these videos beneath this one uh, as well. So the first thing we want to do is go to this URL right here. I'll put this in the video as well microsoft.com slash en dash us eval center if you scroll down click on windows and what we want to set up in this one is windows 10 enterprise right there click on that and the first option we see is windows 10 Inter enterprise we want the iso enterprise and it's good for 90 days that's fine here, it asks you for some information. You can just make this up. It doesn't like send you an email to confirm anything, so you can make it all up. So I can put Iceman, Top Gun, company size. It doesn't really matter. Just make this stuff up. All right, continue. Here we go, which platform do we want? Typically, you're gonna to wanna to select 64-bit. Um, we're running this in VirtualBox on a Windows 10 system is how we have it set up here. Uh, it is a 64-bit version of Windows 10. So we're gonna use 64-bit. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, try the 32-bit. We're gonna go with English, not the Great Britain one, just the normal English here, at least normal for the United States. And you see down here, it's got about 4.3 gig to download, so it's gonna take about 10 minutes on my computer. All right, so the ISO is finished downloading. Now we are going to set up Windows 10 Enterprise in VirtualBox. I've already opened up VirtualBox. You can go over here to Machine, click on New, or you can select it from the menu over here if you have the tools selected. So go to Machine, New, or Control-N. We'll call this Windows 10 Enterprise. Uh, the machine folder is where it's going to store all the virtual machine files. This one is fine for me. Just make sure you have enough space in that folder. You can store this on a USB drive if necessary. It is a Windows OS. The version is not Windows NT4. So let's scroll down, select Windows 10, 64-bit. Uh, the RAM 2048 is fine for me. This laptop that I'm running this on has 16 gig of RAM. I generally don't recommend uh, using more than half the amount of RAM for your virtual machines that your host has. So two gig is fine for mine. Click on next. We do want to create a virtual hard disk now. Next. We'll use a virtual box disk image next. We'll do dynamically allocated, which means it will only use as much space as necessary. Chose dynamically allocated, so it's really not going to use all 50 gig, but it can grow to 50 gig, which is why uh, you need to have enough space on the hard drive where you put this uh, VM. Click on create. Now we have <clears throat> sort of the, the machine set up, but we still need to install the operating system. So click on start. And we're going, to, we're going to get a message that basically says, you know, there's nothing to boot off of. So let's browse to where you downloaded that ISO file. Mine is under the D drive and VMs right here. There's the ISO file. Yours should be called something similar to client enterprise eval. Click on open. Click on start. So right now when we start this virtual machine it's booting off of the ISO which will walk us through the install process. The ISO like in the old days is the uh, CD or DVD they would send to you uh, that you booted off of and installed the operating system. So I'll walk through this pretty quickly. 
So go ahead and click on next. We are in the US here. I am click on install now. Click on accept the agreement. We're going to do a custom install. We're not doing an upgrade. So click on custom install. Uh, we can go ahead and leave the default there. That's fine. Next. And this will take a few minutes. So I'll pause the video and come back when this is finished. All right. I almost fell asleep waiting for that to finish. Uh, and it still says just a freaking moment. So uh, Windows 10 Enterprise takes quite some time to finish. There we go. I let it go through the Cortana BS. You want to turn Cortana off. Uh, so yes, that's the right location. I am in the United States. See how much more moments this takes. It's like a, a 23 hour install. Uh, yep, US keyboard, no second keyboard, so skip that. All right, so we're finally at this sign in with Microsoft thing here. Uh, so you said you can join a domain instead. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Who's gonna use this PC? So this PC is gonna to belong to little bub. Create a super memorable password. So make up something that nobody else will figure out. Uh, and Microsoft tends to like enforce some complex passwords. This is a pet's first name, dogs. Uh, question two, childhood nickname, dogs. Uh, and question three, doesn't really matter. We're just gonna answer them all the same, dogs. All right. Uh, hell no, we don't want to use Cortona. Cortana. Decline that. Uh, do more across devices with uh, activity history. Nope. Choose privacy settings. So I'm going to turn all these things off. Uh, you can turn these back on later if you want to. Um, but I don't like having stuff on that's not necessary. Okay, looks like we finally finally got logged in. As you can see, we're running the enterprise evaluation copy, good for 90 days. And we're logged in with that account we created, little bub, with the password we use. So if you log out uh, from little bub, for instance, we sign out, uh, then let's just verify we can sign back in and we'll verify we, we have internet connectivity and uh, we'll be good to go. So that's just the, install of windows 10 enterprise and let's just we have this freaking edge here i recommend getting rid of this uh I'm replacing it with uh, chrome or firefox you don't want to use edge it's yeah here we go okay so we have internet access we have a virtual machine running what i recommend now that we have this set up is to take a snapshot of it so you can go to the machine up here and take snapshot. And I typically name this baseline. So basically this, and you can put a description here, uh, initial snapshot post install. So we didn't apply any patches or anything else. This is the baseline snapshot. So go ahead and click on okay there. It'll take a snapshot and that's pretty much it.